In this quick video, we will be talking about creating vignettes, about adding vignettes to your images in Capture One. Hi everyone, my name is Kasia Zmokwa. Welcome to my channel where you will always find photo editing, training and educational videos to help you grow as an artist and photographer. Before I jump into the creative process, I have a quick announcement. So very recently I have released a free masterclass in which I cover my workflow. Basically, I'm talking in detail about the three steps of my workflow in Capture One. So if you want to learn more about Capture One, if you want to know how to structure your work, check out the link down below under this video. The masterclass is completely free to join, no strings attached. So what is a vignette? If you want to add a border shadow to your image to focus the viewer's attention on the center of the image, you can quickly do that with the vignetting tool. So the vignetting tool in Capture One is positioned under your exposure tab here at the very bottom. So if we scroll down, we can pull this tool out. As you can see here, this is a very simple tool. There are no presets available to pick from. We can just pick the method and the amount. So let's go for the extreme value to see how this works. So I have selected the elliptic on crop and if I change to the circular on crop or circular, you can see the difference. In case of rectangular images like this, definitely the elliptic on crop works better because it distributes the vignettes evenly along the edges of the image. So now after selecting the method, we can adjust the amount. If we go for negative values, we will be applying darkening. So let's just take a quick look at the before and after. So this is the image before applying the vignette. And this is the image with the vignette at the negative 0.95. But if we push the slider towards the right hand side, we will be adding white vignette. So in case of this image, it doesn't work at all. And hardly ever the positive vignetting is used. So this is how you can add the vignette with this tool. There is another way of adding vignettes to your images, because in case of this picture, ideally, I wouldn't like to darken the sky. We have these dynamic and dramatic clouds and simply darkening them here looks unnatural. So let's just reset this vignette and I will quickly show you how you can create a custom vignette with the radial gradient tool on a layer. So first of all, let's create a new layer and let's call it vignette. Once this is done, all I need to do is to just pick the radial gradient tool and drag the shape. So more or less, I want to have it that way. I will cover the radial and linear gradient tools in a separate video, but here just to give you an example how to create a custom vignette, I will do this very, very quickly. So let's just make it a little bit darker. And now if I hit M on the keyboard, I will have the preview of the mask. Of course, as long as I haven't edited the mask with the eraser and brush, I can still fine tune it so I can move the gradient around. I can change the feathering. I can move those points. So I can position it, let's say this way. So let's have another preview of the mask. So that's how it looks now. And let's say now I would like to get rid of this effect from affecting my sky. So let's hide the mask. And as you can see here, let's just have a quick preview. So this is before and this is the after. So I want to erase it from the sky. This is very straightforward. I just have to select eraser. So I'm hitting E on my keyboard. You can as well pick the eraser from here. Just remember about one thing that once I will start working with the eraser, the gradient, the radial gradient mask won't be editable anymore. Right now, if I still get back to the radial gradient mask, I can edit, I can move it around and I can work with these points. Once I go for the eraser and if I edit the mask with the eraser, this won't be possible anymore. 
So just remember about this when you start working with the eraser or brush on your gradient masks. So I have selected eraser. Let's have a preview of the mask and I can start working with the eraser here to remove the mask from the sky. So I'm going to repeat this operation here in this corner. It takes a little bit of time to calculate this operation. Okay, but now I'm happy with the result. Let's just pick the neutral cursor and let's hit on the M key to get rid of the mask. So this is my custom vignette applied on the image. This is the view before and this is the view after. And since we have added our custom vignette on a layer, we can fine tune it with opacity values. So if we decide that this is too strong effect, this is before and this is the after, we can go for something in the middle by manipulating with the opacity slider. So we can reduce the opacity of the layer and that way the vignette will be much less pronounced. Okay, and as a closing tip in this video on vignetting, I would like to mention one important thing. The vignetting serves as a creative tool. So we deliberately create this effect in post-processing. We are adding either dark vignetting by darkening the corners of the image or brightening them. But if you would need to work with vignetting for optical correction, you would have to go to the lens correction and work with the light fall off slider. Thanks for watching. This was Kasia Zmokoa from Digital Art Classes and I will see you soon in the very next one.